So today we're going to be talking about tuning stability and the importance of stretching the strings out, so stay tuned. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about tuning stability um, and the importance of stretching your strings out. A lot of people overlook this when they're um, when they've bought a new guitar or replace the strings. Um, I review a lot of guitars. This is a Squire Affinity model. Um, when I review these, one of the most common questions I get asked is how well does it hold tune, or indeed with other guitars. Um, actually, these tuners are pretty decent. Um, they do hold tune well. Um, also, if I read through the comments on a review video, a lot of people say the mods are going to do on the guitar, and the first thing they always say is they're going to be replacing the tuners. We well, don't actually need to replace the tuners. The most important thing people miss is stretching the strings out correctly. I don't mean just when you get a guitar, just you know, quickly pull it a few times and that's done. No, there's a lot more to it than that. So I'm going to go into a little bit more detail now. Right, so what I mean by stretching your strings out is don't just quickly pull it. Um, this is a prime example. This is a 2004 model Squire Affinity. And I'm pretty sure these are the original strings. They are pretty manky and pitted and sound quite flat. So even though it's an old guitar, if you haven't stretched them out, these won't um, hold tune correctly. So we've got it up to sort of pitch now. Uh, where are we? About there. Okay. So if I stretch the string just a few times, straight away, that's dropped down. See that? So let's get it back up to pitch. Okay. And give it another good stretch. All along the neck of the guitar. So what I tend to do is hold my thumb down here and then I'll pull it just behind. Alright, so that gives them a good stretch. See, and that's getting close to an E now. So you need to keep doing this till you get to a point where you stretch it and it will just stay in tune. See how much closer that's getting now? Every time I'm stretching it the same amount with the same amount of tension. You'll get to a point where you're pretty much there every time. So we're getting closer now. Obviously you need to repeat this on all six of the strings. So there you go. Stretch that again. See so we're virtually there now. There you go, virtually in tune. Just a tiny little bit out. So I think that's about as close as we're going to get with these tuners. But like I say, these are pretty decent tuners. Um, obviously there's a little tolerance in there, but I think it's more down to the fact it's got a, a tremolo. There you go, near enough in tune. Okay. So then you go to the next string. A, we do that again. And I guarantee that'll probably be nearly a step down. There you go. Over a step down. So that's getting better already. So again, repeat that through all six of the strings. And I guarantee this will improve your tuning stability a lot. Um, like I said before, this has got the tremolo, so there may be a little bit of a tolerance on these, but I, as I showed, I pretty much got it bang on. So I hope that shows you the importance of um, stretching your strings out correctly. Um, it helps tuning stability a lot. So um, yeah, try that out. Even if you've got a guitar that's got old strings on it, do it on that, because I guarantee they'll still be out of tune. Um, in the long run you'll notice it will hold tune a lot better than it did before so if you enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and that'll do for today so thanks for watching see you all soon peace